all the way to the wall. Not bad. Seems to work pretty well, but is it consistent? Hey guys, welcome to Nighthawk Gliders. I'm Brad. Today I'd like to demonstrate this device. Wow, this looks cool. Can I play with it? What is it? Yeah, I was just about to explain this to our audience. You have an audience? Sure, it's our good friends on the internet. They subscribe to our channel and watch our videos. Okay, take it easy now, take it easy. You know what? There's a Rubik's Cube over there. Why don't you go play with that for a little while and come back to this later. Okay. Sorry guys, my alter ego gets a little bit rambunctious. So what we have here is a homemade glider launcher built out of some basic items found around the house. The idea is not to launch this glider at a super high rate, but instead launch it at its gliding rate. I wanted to see if I can build a consistent launcher in which I can actually measure the glider's rate of descent. So in other words, how far it'll fly forward versus how far it drops. So this particular glide rate is essentially equivalent to a lift drag ratio as well. So it might give me a little bit more information about the characteristics of my glider. The principle is based on a class three lever. And the idea is uh, I will pull this back. And as it goes forward, these dowel rods will hit this wedge, open up and release the glider forward. Pretty much like this. All the way to the wall. Not bad. Seems to work pretty well, but is it consistent? Let's do some slow-mo tests and check out exactly how well it behaves. Hey, this is hard. Can you help me solve this? Uh, how about later? Let's launch some gliders right now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> got a lot of different launches from a lot of different angles, got some slow-mo, and um, I was quite pleased with how the launcher performed. It was a little sketchy at the beginning and I had to adjust a few things, like this little bit of a tension right here and the wedge uh, placement. Once I had it fine-tuned, um, as you can see, it flew quite nicely and it also showed the left turn. That's um, pretty much how this works with the tail tilt. Thanks guys, until next time, we'll catch you later. Thank you.